Hello, and welcome to this lesson video where we will learn uh, about the planning process and considerations uh, for Earth, uh, uh, Earthwork operations and the graphic representations and information that's used in this process. Uh, this video covers uh, the shown two learning objectives. First of all, we need to differentiate between uh, two types of earthwork operations, structural and math er uh, earthwork. First, uh, structural uh, earthwork uh, entails cutting and filling uh, the soil around major structural elements like building and foundations. On the other hand, the soil moved in uh, uh, mass uh, earthwork operation is used to construct the final structure like dams, roads, and uh, large uh, site developments. Second, uh, soil volumes in, in math earthwork operations are typically uh, larger than those in uh, structural earthwork operations. Third, uh, structural earthwork usually is challenged with uh, small construction sites and uh, tight logistics. Fourth, and as a result, uh, structural earthwork utilizes small to medium equipment compared to uh, the machines, machine sizes used in mass earthwork. The planning process uh, is the same for both types of earthwork operations, uh, except for some differences due to the shown unique constraints of each. Uh, earthwork operations entail uh, the shown uh, planning consideration. First, you need to analyze any risk uh, sources in the project, uh, such as contaminated soil and existing, existing traffic. Uh, second, you need to break down uh, the uh, work scope into packages and units. Uh, third, for each work unit uh, and, and package, you need to perform detailed production analysis to achieve the lowest uh, possible unit cost. Fourth, you need to have all information needed to understand the handling characteristics of, of the soil, uh, especially swelling and shrinkage. And lastly, you need to specify the location of the soil uh, source and disposal site. To uh, go through the earthwork planning exercise, you need to know the following information. You need to know what type of soil will be hauled or compacted, and you need to calculate their quantities in either compacted bank or loose uh, uh, quantities, depending on the operation you are planning. You need to calculate the haul distances and grade for the different equipment, which are determined factors for uh, determining factors for calculating the operation production rate. The starting point for earthwork planning are drawings, which describe the evaluations of existing and new site uh, grounds. As you can see, uh, the red line in this uh, cross uh, section is the current site elevation, which will be constructed into a park parkway along There are three types of earthwork drawings. The first is the profile view, which shows the elevations across the length of the project, the differences between the existing grade and the final grade indicate uh, the areas of major soil cut and fill. The uh, cross-section view shows a section uh, of the project. Uh, the, the shown example is for a, a highway cross-section, but it can be for other structures like canals. Similar to the profile view, the cross-section shows the existing grade and final grade. Multiple cross-section views are provided in the drawings. Each uh, section is made in a segment of the project with similar geometry along, along its length.
cross-section views are useful to get more construction details in the different locations of, of the projects. For example, you can now uh, you can uh, uh, know the slope of the finished grade, the, exist, the existing uh, existence of uh, paving materials, and the need to construct drainage uh, facilities like ditch line, uh, pipes, and culverts. Finally, the plan views provide an aerial view of, of uh, parts of the project. As you can see. This plan view describes the horizontal alignment of a stretch of a roadway, a roadway project. Also, it shows the need to install a CMP, corrugated metal pipe, for a drainage at section uh, seven, at uh, station seven, uh, seven uh, oh. This uh, station uh, values are useful to communicate the length of different project features like drainage. Uh, or the start and end of construction zones. Here's an example of a roadway project that's described by a profile view to uh, cross sections views and uh, one detail uh, section. Section 1-1 is made in a segment of uh, the road that is mostly excavation or cutting, which you can see the cut elevation difference between the uh, current ground uh, surface and the uh, finish grade. Section 1-1 shows the, there are two types of uh, ground cut operations. One, uh, excavation between outside continuous line and the dotted line. Two, drilling and blasting between the dotted line and the inside finish line. You can also see a corrugated pipe uh, culvert in section in, in the section, uh, which is one of the two uh, shown in the profile view. On the other hand, section 2-2 is made in a fill segment of the road, which also has a corrugated uh, pipe culvert. Section 3-3 uh, uh, is a detailed view of the corrugated pipe culvert shown in section 1. To visualize this uh, culvert pipe, the different uh, aggregate filling uh, uh, around it, and the roadway uh, asphalt uh, section. This is the end of this video where you learned about the process for learning earth work projects and the different information you need in this planning process. Uh, the next le lecture video will explain some example quantity takeoff calculations that are performed when planning earth work operations. Thank you for uh, watching and enjoy your day.